I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will explore how to find fractions which will have repeating decimals. Question here is use prime factorization to determine which fraction have decimal equivalent that repeats. We are given six examples. You can pause the video, copy them, try it out and then look into my suggestions. So let's look into this question once again. Use prime factorization. So first thing we have to do is use prime factorization to determine which fraction have decimal equivalent that repeats. Now I hope you remember what is prime factorization. Prime factorization is a process by which we write each number as product of its prime factors. Right? Now from prime factors, how do you know whether a fraction will have a repeating decimal or not? Key is that if prime factors are only 2 or 5, then we have terminating decimal, right? Else repeating. Is it okay? So the decimals could be either terminating or repeating. So the idea is, once you do prime factorization, check if the prime factors are 2 or 5 only or any other factors. If they are not 2 and 5 only, then the fraction will have equivalent repeating decimal. So let us begin from the very first one, 7 over 15. Now, I would like you to highlight one more step here. So this is, of course, the case. But what we should do also is, first step is, first write fraction in lowest terms and then do this part you know that is helpful okay we will see in the next video why this is helpful here we have already given you fractions in lowest terms okay so let's begin from the very first one denominator is 15 so prime factors are only 2 and 3 of what of denominator prime factors of let me write here of denominator right so we'll check prime factors of 15 it is 3 and 5 since 3 is also a factor this fraction will result into repeating decimal right so this will be a repeating decimal is it okay so this one is repeating next one for us is 25. So let's find prime factors for 25. They are 5 and 5. So we have 2's or 5's is fine. So it is terminating, not repeating. So this is not repeating. Or you can write not repeating. Okay. Next one is 35. So 35 has factors 5 times 7. Now 7 makes it repeating decimal right so this one is again repeating decimal similarly we have here 14 so 14 could be written as 2 times 7 since 7 is not out of 2 and 5 list it will result into repeating decimal and then we have 32 32 you could write as 8 times 4 is 32 4 is 2 times 2 8 is 4 times 2 and 4 could be written 2 times 2. So here we have only 2's as factors of 32. Therefore this is terminating or you can write not repeating. Okay. Next one is 12 in the denominator. So factor only denominator. 3 times 4. Now 3, I mean, I mean, sorry, 2 times 2 is 4. Since 3 is one of the factors of 12, this is going to be a repeating 
decimal right so that is how you can easily check whether the given decimal is repeating or non repeating so let us check two of them with the help of a calculator right so let's say we'll check one of these uh, not repeating terminating 2 over 25 so if I divide 2 by 25 I get 0 0.08 it is not repeating correct now which is let us say 7 over 15 so 7 divided by 15 gives us 0 0.46666 that is repeating right so if you see that a decimal is not terminating it will be repeating so that is how you can test your result also remember when you divide by 7 you may not see the repeating terms in your calculator sometimes as was the case with this example but I hope it helps you to understand the concept a fraction in lowest terms which has only 2 and 5 as factors of denominator will result in terminating decimal otherwise it will be a repeating decimal okay that's the rule I'm Anil Kumar you can subscribe and learn a lot from my videos thank you and all the best